Mr. Matt Helbig, it is Friday once again. Hey there, I'm single and ready to mingle. <laughs> Fantastic, man. I know you and I both have been on these these apps. For research only. Right. Yeah, of course. For the emails. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, it's been uh, a really interesting ride to see how some of these companies uh, deal with their emails to people in, in a stage of life where you're, you're looking for the one or you're looking for many ones. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Hinge really stood out to me as using data and some personalized information from the app in their emails. They are really standing out with that and their emails are a little cleaner than some of the other sites. That we've yeah, seen. they really promote a very simple brand, simple, uh, simplified actually is what I would say. Like they have this black, white, and kind of seafoam aesthetic and that's all they do and they just do it extremely well and it's very refined and man, just great typography. Look, this could have been images and that would have sucked, but no. They went the extra mile. They have custom fonts right in their in their emails. I'm really, really into it. They use these fantastic little custom illustrations that are also in the app. This feels exactly like the app. And that's one of the things that I think is fantastic about their emails is it's so congruent with your experience in the app. And this is a great way to go down through it. They do a great job here of like, just making a very simple, responsive experience, nothing fancy, just getting it done. But look at all that like clarity and white space and like nice, big, easy to read text. And these are my favorite kinds of emails, to be honest. I'm just a, a big, big fan. And they lead me down through the app with these repeating GIFs that are within the phone. So it feels very contextual and understandable. They even choose the white phone as a way of like keeping on brand, which I think is smart. I'm really curious, actually. My guess is that they have a bigger female demographic than male. I don't know. Well, that'd be interesting to know. But it seems like that sort of feels right for their brand. And then this last little simple footer. The only thing that I can call out on this email, uh, and maybe you have some other things, but I would say is the footer text feels a little bit light to me. Like it might not meet accessibility standards. So I've actually had to think about that in some of my designs because I sure like using gray, but I think that could be improved. But overall, I'm just really happy with this email. The way that it starts out with an image that tells me this is where I want to go, like this connection, right? And then they take me through this little journey. They let me see how the app works and, and how to get into it. And then I have these, you know, final opportunities. I would imagine that this email converts pretty well. I would love to know. Hey, Hinge. Let us know. Yeah, as a welcome email, I think this is really a, a good email. And as you said, too, I think the responsive design from desktop to mobile feels really seamless. And the extra step to, to make those animated GIFs, I imagine, wasn't the easiest thing in the world. But, you know, even though that they're pretty small on desktop, instead of them being screenshots, I think that added value of a GIF really supports this welcome series and makes it a lot more successful. Yeah, I agree. Should we hop over and look at the other Hinge email? Yeah. Do you have it up? I don't. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me pop over and get it. So uh, here's this this other email from Hinge, which I think is kind of fun. Who's this handsome guy? Oh, that's funny. Is that me? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. That's so funny. It sounds like you're dating um, yourself in this. Right? I mean, we may or may not have replaced uh, some names of people who needed to be protected. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm quite happily uh, in relationship now, so that feels good. But uh, with really good emails and a, a real woman. Yeah, this is a, a nice little touch. One of the things that not a lot of people do, but I think this is kind of fun here, is that this email really takes on a very specific, very tight focused mobile view. Even in the desktop, it feels very mobile. Uh, it feels very like like a snack, like a little thing. Just like the last email, I mean, I just think they're doing some fantastic stuff with just really simple typography. And I, you know, I just think it really works. The only thing that like, feels like maybe it could be a little bit of a change to me is the typography layout. So they say recommended by Hinge. And so we go left, center, left, and all the way down. And at least they break the center with these dividers. 
but I almost feel like it's not necessary or I just want them to go centered the whole way down. And I think they could have done that given that it's a mobile email. But the other thing here would be, again, talked about it last week, but when you can keep your paragraphs when you're reviewing things to add some words to this, you know, so that it fills out this sentence and you don't have this like little hanging word here. Those are some little things, but tiny, tiny issues. You know, I just continue to be impressed with Hinge's stuff here. Matt, do you have anything like harsh or negative or really like dangerous to say here? Like, we- No, I think this is actually one of my favorite Hinge emails because of the amount of personalization inside of it. That little star up top might be an indicator of your account status, maybe if you're a pro or something like that. That's a really good touch. Pulling in those photo images and making them feel like they're together with those rounded corners is a really cool idea. It probably matches up to their app pretty well. Also, the those first names. I was going to say we didn't catch. We're sorry, Amy. <laughs> At least it's anonymized. <laughs> but yeah, even like you know, we didn't catch that because that's a very uh, unique uh, thing to this email too. Pulling someone's first name into a CTA is like a super cool thing that I've never really seen before either. Right. Instead of just saying message them or something like that, getting more specific, it like really adds like tonality to the email. I think it's great. Yeah, I definitely enjoy the personalization piece, and definitely shows when you have an app that it has so much information picking and choosing and delivering this email and that this one is you know an automated email trigger i also do imagine this one converts really well too yep um, showing you your latest matches and getting you back into the product when you haven't been there for a while so yeah i'd love to learn too about you know what that cadence is with those customers yeah i, I uh, in general with hinge i've noticed that they'll send you an email about once or twice a week with like a hey we think this is a good fit regardless of how you're using the app. But I think it's an interesting way of like making the app feel smart and helping even if you aren't like getting connections, they're trying to find you connections. So you feel a little bit of partnership from them as a brand without it being too heavy handed. And I really like that. And my feeling is that they're also sending it to you know, this exact same email to this other person. I don't know that that's the case. I have no idea. I've never personally never had one of these that they thought was a good fit be a good fit. So, <laughs> you know, it's an interesting way to work. So, yeah, I love it. As you said, too, that we've you said before in the past that email is part of product of this is really a piece of product and they're not, I mean, maybe they're doing a push notification during the week as well, but uh, this feels really powerful and personalized and definitely took a little bit more time to make for sure. To that point, you know, one thing to, to mention, and I think they're doing this, is I suspect they're sending a push notification or some kind of notification to me. And if I don't connect with that push notification, then they're sending an email. So it's those kinds of things to make sure that in your messaging and your communication that you're covering a lot of ground and making sure that you're not doubling up and over tapping people. I'll have to get back on the hinge now. It seems like a a good good time. (laughs) Well, dude, what do you got going on this weekend? Besides Uh, getting back on Hinge. I'm telling you, I think it's mostly (laughs) Hinge related. All right, let me know if you want some help with your profile. (laughs) (laughs) Definitely. Uh, Yeah, likes, email, uh, long long walks on the beach. I'll figure something out. (laughs) Fantastic. We'll, uh, We'll see you next Friday, bud. See ya. All right, bye. If you have any feedback on the series, please leave a comment down below. Hit subscribe to keep up with future episodes. Thank you for giving a listen and letting our sponsors know you love really good emails.